another week. It's actually Tuesday. Tomorrow is Freelance Heroes Day when I'm giving my first big conference talk. Today I'm traveling up there. Actually gonna go via Manchester. Say hello to some people I know there first. Yesterday was mostly just spent catching up on bits of work and going through my slides that I've had designed for the talk, which aren't finished yet. Nothing like leaving it to the last minute. But yeah, let's go get a train. So here we are in Wolverhampton. I have just received the final slides from the designer. Whew, cutting it fine, but they look amazing. Uh, really pleased with, I've gone to all that effort rather than doing them myself where I'm not actually, I, like they would look nothing like that if I had done them. Had such a good time with my friend this afternoon and it was a nice distraction from thinking about doing this talk. So, when I had breakfast and uh, a woman came over and went, Steve Follen! <laughs> Which was really nice. Um, so at least I know there's like one person in the audience. So yes, it is the day of the talk. In fact, in two hours time I will be doing it. I've had breakfast, went to the venue, dropped off my slides, came back here and rehearsed my talk the whole way through. Time to actually go do it, hey? Can you see? <laughs> my coffee is rattling. So they're all networking at the moment. But now, look, my name's on the flipping screen. And I'm up next. The best support for every single one of those 4.8 million freelancers comes from the 4.7999 million people out there. And Freelance Heroes is created a platform and the working Freelance Heroes game in 2019 on May the 16th. So put it in your diary now. Thank you very much and have a very, very safe journey home. What a brilliant day. Hats off to Ed and Annie who have put that together from the Freelance Heroes group. Not just for the group, but for that day. All of the speakers were so good, but the people were so nice. <laughs> like, just had to, you know, like how I've talked about finding your people and that when you do networking isn't as painful. That was the case today. <sighs> I'm glad I did that. You know, I have spent an insane amount of time, like hours, putting together that talk. But I'm also glad that I bothered to put that amount of effort in and like that all the rehearsal paid off. Especially because I feel like that kind of pushed me a bit more. Like I know I'm comfortable talking and stuff like that and I get up on stage but doing this sort of thing is different. So it felt good doing that and just testing myself. But also having people come up to you saying how much they enjoy the podcast or how they started listening before they took the plunge to start being freelance. And like people 
I don't think they were just being nice, because they don't have to say it. People coming up to me and quoting back bits of my talk and saying that that really spoke to me and I'm going to make a change because of that. How cool is that? had such a great time but it's nice to be back actually doing work again. I was a bit frustrated in that I didn't do really any proper work over the last couple of days when I thought I would. I thought I'd work on the train up there but some blokes sort of hijacked my table and I couldn't focus and I thought I'd work on the morning of a talk. Turns out you're never gonna work on the morning of a talk because of course all you can think about is your talk. rhythm of working and running to the groove of normality but really I'm just kind of still buzzing from this week I met really cool people and really pushed myself to do something that I would never have done it, it just seems a bit bigger you know bigger than just doing one thing by yourself both doing this and the podcast but also being part of communities online and in real life yeah whatever you're up to i hope you're good thanks so much for watching please do leave a comment hit subscribe turn on notifications and go grab yourself a beer